you're making YouTube videos or brand videos or any form of video content, then you'll probably need motion graphics. They can help increase the professional quality of your content. Uh, they can also make your videos more engaging and can lead to higher views and subscriber numbers. While you can spend ages making motion graphics of your own, and I would recommend learning how to do that, I've got some tutorials coming out for that fairly soon, I would also suggest getting to know some different motion graphic packs. One of my favourites that I've recently come across is the Toco Motion Graphics Pack, who is also the sponsor of this video. The Toco Motion Graphics Pack includes 2,250 motion graphics assets along with over 600 sound effects. All of these motion graphics assets are sorted into 20 categories, meaning that it's easy to search, increasing your productivity in your workflow. Most of the assets are fully resizable, meaning that you can change it from being a vertical video to being a horizontal video, and it will all update without you having to mess around. You can also change just about everything about each of the motion graphics. They also all look really professional, which is great for if you're wanting to advertise your brand. I would definitely recommend you go and download this pack. There's a link down below in the description, so go and check it out there. Once you've downloaded the folder from the website that contains all of the assets, you just need to extract that folder, because it is a zip folder, and then open up the tutorials folder at the bottom, open the how to install web link. Once you double click on that link, it will take you to a video made by the people who made the pack on how you can install and use the motion graphics pack. There is also a link within the folder for all of the fonts that you'll need to download that you can download for free. Once you've downloaded and installed the pack, load up DaVinci Resolve and then go over to the effects panel. Then underneath the titles drop down in the toolbox, you will find another drop down of the Toco graphics pack. To use and customize these graphics, all you need to do is find one that you want to use. I want to use this one just here and drag and drop this into the timeline. Once it's added to the timeline, you can then select it. Then you can just go up to the inspect panel, open up the edit text, and you can change what the text says. You can change the font size, the font type, and then under the color options, you can change the text color and also if there's any other colors in the graphic. It's really customizable. You have full control. Uh, so then you can make these graphics look like they match your brand or your style. If you want to change the length of a motion graphic, but you still want all of the animations to keep up to date, all you need to do is click on it and then drag. All of the animations update as you change the length of the motion graphic clip in the timeline, and that goes for both shortening it and lengthening it. If you want to use one of the logo reveals, then just go down to the logo reveal section and then find a logo reveal that you really like. I like logo reveal one. So I'm just going to drag and drop this down here onto the timeline, and I'm also just going to make it just a tiny bit longer. In order to change the logo to be your logo for your YouTube channel or brand or whatever it is you're wanting to use this for, then you just need to select it, then go over to the Fusion page down at the bottom here, and then double click on the big block of nodes just here, which says Toco Reveal 01, and then make sure you have the media pool enabled, and then drag and drop your logo onto the logo node here, which will then ask you if you want to replace it, and just hit OK. My logo is being filled in plain white, but we'll sort that out in a second. If you want to change the size or scale of your logo, then you can just select the logo transform node. You might need to double click on this text here if this menu doesn't automatically load, but then you can just change the slider for the size, aspect ratio, angle. If you want to, you can flip it. You can change the position of it. It's really customizable in that view. Then when you want to go back to your editing timeline you can just go back to the edit page then under the main settings with the motion graphic clip selected you can deselect fill logo once again you can then change the color to be anything you want it to be um, and have a bit of fun with it the pack also includes a whole ton of sound effects and glitch assets that you can mix and match and use in your videos to just increase that level of 
production quality. You can access these via the installer by going to the extra materials folder, then you'll find glitch effects and also a sound effects folder, which you can then open up and there's a whole ton of different things in here and there's so many really awesome sound effects. I genuinely really like this pack because it is so easy to use and it looks so good. Uh, so I'll definitely be using it more in future. And if you do decide to grab it, that would be great. And if you have any questions, then you can stick them down in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. If you have any tutorial requests or suggestions, then also please feel free to let me know. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah.